Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today's video is gonna be really short, really quick. And what I'm, uh, what I want to show you guys, that uh, this is the bolt that uh, needs to go into the steering column on the Mitsubishi Lancer. And as you can see, um, somehow they managed to to broke off the the end. Where uh, I don't know, maybe the Allen wrench. Uh, hole was sitting so yeah so uh, I couldn't find the part number so what I did is went to the nearest store and I bought the ones with the Allen wrench uh, adapter and this is the right uh, size the right thread size and everything so the only problem is This is the problem. As you guys can see, uh, the one on the bottom that I want to use and I need to use is much smaller than uh, the, the black one. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I did it, how I matched the exact size and how you can deal with the easy way. I mean, if you have access the grinding wheel especially this side also if you better use a drill so what I did I put a little tape on the thread and um, I already put the other um, uh, the other bolt into the drill I already grind it down to the point where it's exactly matching the width of the old one so this is pretty much done uh, and as you guys can see, it's not just shiny, it's rounded. Because once you're uh, putting next to the grinding wheel, that it's uh, spinning really fast, or you're also uh, pulling the trigger on the, on the drill, and it's gonna get an even wear on the bolt. So I'm going to show you guys how it's done. So first things first, Grab the, your bolt, focus it, okay, you grab your bolt, put a, a small uh, amount of uh, duct tape or any kind of electrical tape on it. Now you have to insert into the drill, tighten it. Okay, it doesn't have to be really tight and once you're done with this you can turn on the machine Okay, the machine is turning off and what you have to do is always put next to each other and see if you hit the right size. So we still have to take a lot more from the bolt. So I'm just going to keep doing it and I'm gonna come back once the, the bolt is perfectly flush with the original one. Okay guys, so I'm done with it. Um, watch it because uh, after you're done with them they could be really hot so don't just really grab them just uh, touch it and, and flick it away and then try to see it if it's really hot or not these are still pretty hot 
so that's where I'm not really showing it by touching them so um, as you can see it's the the original one now it's much bigger than the new bolt yeah i went uh, with a smaller diameter so it's gonna be perfectly uh, flush or goes into its place really good uh you can match the same uh size by you know doing uh, uh, a little grinding matching up with the old one a little more grinding match it up again if if you really want to go with the original size but i'm going with a, with a bit smaller so it's not gonna be any clearance issue or anything so um i just wanted to show you guys real quick how to do this the easy way if you're facing the same problems like me um yeah pretty much that's all if you have a grinding wheel it's it's a really good thing if you just have the bolts uh, it's better if you find someone with a grinding wheel and do it yourself or just give it them give it to them and they can do it in like five minutes and uh, just a couple of dollars worth of bolts and you're ready to go so probably tomorrow i'm going to install them in the car i'm gonna make another video about that okay guys so as i promised it's tomorrow morning aka saturday and uh i'm planning to install these screws these bolts that i was machining yesterday you can see it turns out pretty good and uh what i have to do is just all i have to do is install into its place right here and as you can see it fits perfectly on one on the other side now it's fully installed and as you can see it's not even moving anymore so what I'm going to do now is put on all the covers put on all the screws bolts and I'm gonna call it a day all right see you guys in the next video